Well, hello again, Jason. How you doing? Good, good. Listen, did you get a chance yet to finish all those tweaks that you had in mind for the trophy topper? I did. I did. You know what? I couldn't help myself. I just kept tweaking the subdivision and I got to a place that I really like. So check it out. Tell me what you think. Looks perfect to me, honestly. Those sunglasses, super cool touch. And this little custom SolidWorks dog tag is is like, you know, of course he's got one of those, right? You know, I was thinking earlier, though, it's always a good idea to get more feedback from other folks before you do the build, you know? Um, so I had an idea. Why don't we call Sal and Chin Lu and see what they think about the design? Okay, I love that idea, Todd. So anyone that doesn't know Sal and Chin Lu, they work at SolidWorks with us, and they also have their own YouTube channel called Our Next Make. And what they do is they create and design and engineer and build all these really cool projects, and they take the audience around with them to show them exactly how it was done. So love this idea. Yeah, they're they're really, really good, really cool. Um so, you know what? They're probably around this time of day. Let's see if they'll answer a Zoom call. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, Sal. We're working on an X-Design for Makers video series, and we've created this trophy design, and we just need a little, you know, help from you guys. Tell us what you think about it. And maybe, you know, even give us some tips on how to make it. Oh, yeah, of course, we'd be happy to help. But you kind of caught us in the middle of something. Can we sync up in a little bit? Or you could send us the model. We'll review it later and then jot down some notes. That's actually a really good idea. You know what? We'll share it to the makers made in 3D community. And then who knows? Maybe some other folks will, you know, offer some feedback as well. Um, but... Let me ask you this. Could you guys also record what you do when you review it so we can put that in the video? Yeah, sure. No problem. That sounds like a plan. You guys are awesome. Uh, before we let you go, what, what exactly are you two working on over there? We can't tell you too much, but we will say it's something for Slug Me 10. All right. That's fine. We'll, we'll catch up with you guys later, but thanks again, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye. Talk to you soon. See you guys. You can share your designs with anyone, and they don't have to have a license or install anything to view, measure, or even mark up your model. From the Tools tab in the Action Bar, select Share. Now, there are different places and ways to share designs depending on what you need. Copy Link provides a direct path for someone else on your platform to open the model. So in my case, Jason's the only other person that could use that link. Most makers probably work with people outside their platform. Share file is how you send a copy to anyone so they can open it, view it, measure it, and provide feedback. You can restrict access to just those emails you add, and they'll be able to view it and comment in their browser, again, with no software license or installing anything. Another great option is to post your design in an internal or public 3D Swim community, We'll post directly to the Makers Made in 3D community where fellow makers can get inspired and ask questions. We'll leave it set to view only and keep the default file type of 3D XML. Now this is going to go in as a post in the community, so I'll write up a little about what I'd like feedback on. Clicking Publish then automatically creates the post. Looks like we got a notification of the post from Todd and Jason. They want some feedback. Sal, come check it out. It looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Let's take a look at the model in 3D. Top dog, that's cool. Yeah, it's well proportioned. Let's check out the size. Yeah, let's take a measurement. Let's grab a point on the top and at the bottom. It's roughly 410 millimeters. That's, uh, that's about 16 inches. Wow, that's a good size. So the design is really good already, but I think there's some opportunities here to kick this up a notch. I like the SolidWorks logo on the collar, but the collar is kind of basic, right? So let's see if we can suggest some changes. Yeah, we could probably bling it up, couldn't we? Let's mark this up. What do you think? 
some gold chains? Yeah, I think you should change the color of the marker and draw some chains. Something like this? Let's capture this in a comment so they can see it. We think you could bling this bad boy up with some gold chains. Nice. I was looking at these guys. They look like open access for some fasteners to mount the plate to the base columns. They could 3D print some fun little things like bones to cover up the holes. Yeah, like caps. Yeah, that's cool. Let's send that as another comment. They should get notifications on our feedback now. What's going on, Jason? Hey, what's up, Todd? Not too much, but you know, Sal and Chin Lu did already comment on our post. I saw that in the community. Absolutely love it. Yeah, so I thought what we could do is is show everyone what that looks like, and then we'll dive into those comments, and we can decide, you know, is there maybe some last-minute changes that we want to try to do to, to improve the whole thing? Perfect. Yeah, so in the community there, you see the post, and then if you click on it, it, it opens everything up, and there's that, you know, that, that larger image with everyone's comments down below. Now, if you click on the image, it, it, it opens that up in that 3D environment where you can spin everything around, do your own investigation and looking, but you can also see all the comments off to the side. And uh, right here, this is the big one, right? They, they, they said, let's bling it up a little bit. Absolutely love the idea of doing gold chains on this. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So my question is, have you got an idea already on how you're going to model and make that? Yeah. You know what? I was thinking just off the top of my head, I could probably just do like a, a cool sub D of one of the chain links and then just do a linear pattern. And if I'm really careful about it, I could probably just 3D print the whole thing. And then that way I can just lay it over the dog's neck and basically make a necklace for him. I, I think I even have some gold uh, filament that I can use in the 3D printer. Oh, that'll be great. That'll be cool. Now, this um, this other suggestion about caps on top there, maybe that's something we can look at adding later sort of as an upgrade. I yeah. like the idea, but uh, let's get it together with those socket head cap screws that we were thinking about and, and roll with it from there. For sure. All right. So look, you, you go and work on that chain. Um, let's make that sort of a surprise as far as how that turns out, if it, if it works for us and everything. And then I'll catch back up with you when we're, uh, when we're ready to show the whole, the big reveal. All right. Great. Yeah. I love it. I love their feedback. This is just going to make the trophy that much better, you know? Absolutely.